Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. Now in this uh, video, we are going to show you how to create what we call a quota line in charting. So this line will sort of like set a certain um, minimum requirement in order to pass your sales or a certain value that your bar charts should reach in order to say it's a pass status or whatever reason you need a quota line for so by default when you insert a chart okay so you just have to highlight then go to insert and then let's say i'm going to put a column chart okay so some people what they do is they insert a line using the insert shapes um feature wherein you have to insert a line here and they would put a line that would be placed over the chart in order to show where the quota for the chart is. However, this is very manual. And of course, when you move your chart, okay, then if there's a possibility that this line, they okay, will not join or it's not exactly positioned to the right value, okay, in your chart. So here's the proper way to to a quota line in MS Excel. So first, you have to add a column in your data that shows quota. And then under that column, you need to add the number that you need to set as the quota. So let's say in this example, I'm going to put 150 as the quota for the chart that I'm going to produce. Now, I'm going to insert another one. And then I could now highlight both of these values and double click so that they will cascade all the way down to the last row of your data. And then after this, you just have to highlight your data. And then after highlight your data, you then go to insert. And then under insert, you then need to go to your main chart. So our main chart here would be the column chart. So I would insert a column chart, this, and you will notice that my column chart has or uh, has two colors. It has the blue one for the quantity sold and the orange bars for the quota. Now, what you need to do next is you have to click one of the orange bars. And when you click it once, you will notice that all the orange data uh, series bars are selected by default make sure you don't click it like one more time because if you do it then you would notice that you're technically isolating just one data point so you want to click once so that you click all of them automatically and then once you do this you then have to right click okay on the orange bar and then you have to choose change the series chart type make sure that when you right click on the chart element you right click specifically on one of the orange bars because if you right click let's say here on the white space between them then what you will get is the change chart type option which will change the entire chart you don't really need to change the entire chart you only need to change just one of the data series and that is the amber or the orange series of our chart so we right click Okay, specifically on the amber or the orange chart and then we choose change series chart type so we click this and you will get this pop-up we're in automatically you will be brought to the combo chart option in this pop-up you will notice that you will have a breakdown of the different data series that we have so we have the quantity sold which is clustered column and the quota which is also a clustered column chart and what you need to do next here is you need to go to the quota and change it to a line okay to a line chart so technically what we are doing here is what we call a combination chart we're in one of the um, chart uh, data series is a clustered column and another one is a line chart so this is a combination of two charts the column chart and the line chart and what we are converting into a line chart is the quota data series therefore 
our chart will now look like this. So this is our preview and you will see that it's doing what we intend to do. So click OK now. And there you have it. You now have your uh, quota line okay, in your chart. So this kind of chart or this kind of uh, technique is also applicable in other types of charts. For example, we can also do this in a line chart. So let me uh, show that as well in a line chart format. So we will highlight our data and then go to insert. And this time I will choose a line chart. So a line chart automatically will have the quota line because, well, it's already a line chart. So you don't have to do that uh, procedure. So the procedure that I first uh, showed you is only applicable when you're going to do a chart that is not a line chart and you have to convert one of the data series into a line. And that's it for today's video. I hope you learned something new and uh, hope if you like the video, please hit the like and subscribe button. And if you have any questions, please uh, feel free to use the chat and uh, the comment section and I will try my best to answer you as soon as I can. Okay, and thanks everyone. See you in the next video.